Love Home Family and Friends, to our birth to one educational community kid shower. Thank you for your support, gifts, and prayers. Thank you for birth to one sponsors, Buckeye Health Plan, City of Akron Department Neighborhood Assistance, Joy Park Community Center. Please put your hands together to welcome our guest speaker, John Hafford, Supervisor of Joy Park Community Center. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank everybody for coming out today. We're excited about this event. And we're just going to move everything over here to the mother to be. On the tables is a pretest. So that when you just complete those four questions, then we go over it at the end. First question the ABCs of safe sleep mean the mother should be. The second question. Breastfeeding protects your baby from sickness better than bottle feeding. Question number three. Once you have delivered your baby, you are finished with visits to your OB doctor's office. Question number four. An important signal of postpartum depression is not having interest in things you should be, you should you use to enjoy. We want to answer all those questions. So before we continue, we want to get your permission to get started. It's official. Here we go. I like to start with number nine. So if we all want to turn to page nine. We thank our grandmother to be for stepping up and helping with this. Page nine. That bottom right hand corner. The ABCs of safe sleep. In Ohio, in Ohio, three kids die every week of sleep-related deaths. Sleep-related infant deaths are those linked to accidental causes such as suffocation, when a baby dies from lack of air and ability to breathe. Entrapment, when baby gets trapped between. Always follow the ABCs of safe sleep. Alone, your baby should not sleep in the bed with you or anyone else. Return baby to the crib after breastfeeding. Back, baby sleep safest on their backs. Always place your baby on his or her back to sleep for naps and at night. Crib, your baby should always sleep in a safety approved crib, bassinet, or portable play area. Use a firm mattress covered by a fitted sheet to keep soft abjects, toys, cribs, bumpers, and loose bedding out of baby sleep area. The crib away from curtains and blinds with cords. I'm going to read number 10. Breastfeeding. The breast is the best. One of the most important choices the mom will need to follow is whether to choose, whether to give your baby breast milk or formula. Breast milk is the perfect food for babies. It's packed with the right mixture of nutrients and proteins that can keep your baby from getting sick. It also helps the mom bond with her baby. Okay, we go to page 11. Period of adjustment, the baby blues. Once a baby is born, your body will start to return to the way it was before you were pregnant. Know and remember that for the first six weeks, your body is still more like a pregnant body than if not. It is best to expect that every new mother will be somewhat emotional as they go through this time. Many moms feel low or let down when they leave the hospital. This tends to come and go quickly. Some moms will experience postpartum depression. If you have any of these signs, you should call your doctor to discuss. Feeling sad, down, or depressed. Trouble sleeping. Not interested in things you used to enjoy. Feeling guilty, loss of energy. Having trouble keeping focus. A change in eating habits. Not taking care of herself or the baby. Thoughts of harming herself or others. Okay. Doctor visits. Baby's doctor visits. It is important to plan regular visits to the pediatrician to make sure your baby is growing well. 
There are shots, immunizations, that protect your baby from diseases. The pediatrician will give you a schedule to keep. Mom's doctor visit. Mom will need to see your doctor for a follow-up. Visit about four to six weeks after you give birth. This visit is as important as any other doctor visit. First spacing. What is first spacing? First spacing is the time between one live birth and the next. The amount of time between birth can impact the health of the mother and infant. Birth intervals less than 18 months have been shown to increase the risk of poor birth outcomes. Why is adequate birth spacing important? Birth intervals of at least 18 months reduces the risk of low birth weight, preterm birth, baby born small or gestational age, and other poor birth outcomes, including death of the mother during delivery. Using a car seat, you can't leave the hospital without a car seat. You can buy or rent one or call your local health department to see if you can get a seat at a low cost or free. Once you get the seat, put it in the car the right way. It's never okay to shake a baby. If you feel frustrated and that you're losing your temper, calmly put your baby down, call family or friends, and say you will need a little break. Go for a walk, read a magazine, or watch TV, but never shake your baby. Even one shake can cause brain damage for life or worse. Let's start. Go to page two. Drinking and pregnancy. Top of the list. You found out you're pregnant. You need to start eating more healthy foods and taking care of yourself. You'll have to find a doctor as early as possible and make regular office visits. But the number one item on your YouTube YouTube. The number one item on your to-do list is stop drinking. One of the most important dangerous, dangerous drugs for a pregnant woman is alcohol. Patient, patient. What is fetal alcohol syndrome? Fetal, a fetus or unborn child. Alcohol, intoxicating liquor. Syndrome, a group of symptoms that make up a disease, disorder, or other abnormal conditions. Fetal alcohol syndrome is the only birth defect that can be completely prevented. It doesn't have to happen. So results are in. A baby with fetal alcohol syndrome may have small body size and weight, deformed ribs and breastbone, curved spine and hip dislocation, bent, fused web, or missing fingers or toe, droopy eyelids or small eye slits, small head, small jaw, Facial problems, open, opening in the mouth, limited movement of joints, mental retardation. Drugs and pregnancy. Drug abuse for pregnant women is like playing with fire. You can't be sure what the harm will be, but you know for certain there will be harm. All illegal drugs are dangerous for a woman carrying a child. Even medical prescriptions and over-the-counter drugs have been known to be harmful. Page six, illegal drugs, what they can do. Marijuana, premature birth, low birth, birth weight. Heroin, premature birth, low birth weight, breathing problems, low blood sugar, bleeding inside the brain, drug dependency, hallucinogens, brain damage, poor muscle control, stiff muscles, facial deformities, sluggishness, behavior problems as they grow up, inhalants, permanent birth defects. Smoking and pregnancy, what's the big deal? There are 4,000 chemicals in cigarettes and smoke, including cyanide, lead, arsenic, tar, ammonia, embalming fluid, and more, other, more than 60 cancer-causing ingredients. When you smoke, you pass that stuff directly to your child. They contain two killer things that are really dangerous, nicotine and carbon monoxide. These work together to cut off the baby's oxygen flow. The results of smoking while pregnant. Size and weight, smoking a pack of cigarettes a day can shave half a pound from a baby's birth weight. Body and lungs. Smaller babies often have bodies that aren't well developed 
and often start like a lot of people put on machines because their lungs cannot work on their own. Smoking uh, making them two to three times more likely to die from SIDS. Heart being born with a heart problem is more likely for babies born to mothers who smoke. Brain learning disorders, behavior problems, and low IQ are lifelong results of the effects of a child whose mother smoke. Can we give our grandmother be a great big hand for helping to read that? Now, the post test. This is when you turn it over, and we go through this together. Question number one. The ABCs of safe sleep mean the baby should be, which should be A, B, or C? B. B, alone on the back and in a crib. Number two. Breastfeeding protects your baby from sickness better than bottle feeding, true or false? True. true. Once you have delivered your baby, you are finished with visits to your OB doctor's office. Yes. False. false. Number four. We're almost here. We're almost finished. Here we go. An important signal of post-border depression is not having interest in things you used to enjoy. That's true. Just answering these questions means that now you can share with others. Feel free if you'd like to take a PowerPoint presentation with you today, courtesy of Buckeye Health Plan. We have a lot of literature on the table back there that you're free to take as much as you like. Now we're going to move to our presentation. Moving right along here. Birth to one, certificate of completion. Happy fast, doesn't it? Certificate of completion, congratulations, Carlisa. Carlisa Fitzgerald. This mommy to be has had an educational community baby shower here at Joy Park Community Center. Can we give her a big hand for that? Yes. Congratulations. Along with that, all the wonderful literature that you can share, you know, read it, go over it, and share with others. On top of that, courtesy of Buckeye Health Plan. A pack and play. Thank you, Buckeye Health Plan. Can you give Buckeye Health Plan? Yeah. But not only that, courtesy Buckeye Health Plan, a $50 Visa gift card. giving back. We just need you to help us pass this word on to others. At this point, we're going to turn over to our organizers. Continue with your event. Thank you so much for being here at Joy Park Community Center. Thank you. Thank you.